Come on, sit so. The weather is nice today, you guys. So lovely. Good morning, beautiful people, and welcome back to yet another vlog. It's a Sunday, and I'm on my way to. I'm on my way to an African store. Well, it's an Afro Caribbean store. Technically speaking, it's an Uzbekistan store that has taken advantage of the growing African population in Darlington right now, and they have started stocking up on African food. So I'm making my way there right now. Morning. So um, I want to pick up some items for stew. How to make a fresh batch because I need to suck up the freezer. Um, I also want to get some things for vegetables. So I want to make like two different kinds of soup char. I don't know if I'll be filming that, but yeah. If you're new here, you are more than welcome. Please do all to hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications. That way you get notified every single time. I upload a new video, which is at least once every week. All right, so I'm almost at the store now. And I will be filming in the store because I've asked for permission with the store owner. And he has, um, has been gracious enough to, to let me film in the store. All right, you guys. I'm looking at one gym here. <laughs> you see this gym? I've been eyeing it for, for over a year now. Let's, move this. Let's be serious. I've been eyeing this gym for over a year. And it's months I've been using to register. It's months I've been using to sign up to this gym membership business and be serious with my life but you know priorities time there's just, just a bunch of things bunch of reasons why i haven't i haven't put up put my membership in but we shall see even in the one i'm even supposed to be doing in the house because if over the fence over the bar thank you also to every single person who has been so gracious enough to leave prayers and kind words for my mom on her sixth year. You guys, are you seeing the jeans I'm coming from? <laughs> my mom is such an amazing person and I just wanted to celebrate her. I don't really like to put that aspect of my life out there, but I just wanted to to embarrass her. That's just the word. I wanted to embarrass her and I just wanted to go out of my way to actually celebrate her. Because my mom is not going to be 60 twice. No, she's not. So, thank you to everybody who left kind prayers. And for those of you who think that I look like my mom. <laughs> Wait till you see my dad. <laughs> I actually look like my dad. I'm the splitting image of my dad. It's just that I'm fair and he's dark. So I have her complexion, but I have his face. Okay? Alright, you guys. I'll let you know when I get to the store. And I will be filming. I'll pick up this vlog when I get to the store. Alright, you guys. Stick around. Somebody's by Bolo. Somebody's by Bolo. I need you not today. I need you right away. Somebody's in this bed. Somebody feels like no one cares. Somebody's in this bed. Somebody feels like no one cares. Planting is on my list. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I have a list here of all the things I want to get. And planting is on this list, but planting is not in this store. So what are we gonna do? Alright, so I'm going to show you around, but mostly this will be voiceovers because the, the store is fairly empty right now, so it's not that much of a big deal. Now, I don't know if it's just me or if you have your mind set on something and your plans change halfway. For me, it takes me a while to get myself back. 
So I just, I was roaming around to this section for quite a while. I'm sure the guy was actually concerned for me because I, to that yam I'm planting that I could not find, it destabilized me. So anyway, you guys, after much parabolating, I decided to buy just small quantities of the things that I came for since I could not even get the things that I wanted. So I decided to just buy very little quantity since we're almost to the end of the month and I'm just going to go bulk shopping. So my list, I had onions, garlic, ginger, some ingredients for pepper mix and just, you know, some things to buy for the soup and stew that I wanted to make. I don't know about you guys, but there's some things that I absolute must in my house. Like when it runs out, I just have to go out and get a fresh batch. Ginger and garlic is on the top of that list. Like I must just have to think two things. <laughs> anyway, you guys, for this store, the name of the store is Medina and it is on Corporation Road. I'll leave the li well, the name and everything in the description box. You guys should please check them out. They are fully stocked, usually on Mondays. So as for the things I was able to find, I first checked the Indian section. And this is the melon that I buy whenever I've run out of the one I usually get at Middlesbrough. They also have this really good um, seasoning, Maggi seasoning from Nigeria. They had the Coas, Semolina, and this is, I don't know how many people know, but this is actually a way to seeds. And I usually buy this in South Africa when it's planting season because I like to plant my own Ewidu. Fortunately, I don't have that luxury here, but this is something that I, you guys might want to check out. You see this thing? If you cannot find Rudo, just buy this and rehydrate it. And use it with your conscience because it's very spicy. They also had very um, large amount of, you know, various varieties of peanut. That's the red and the pink one. And I'm sure they taste differently. But then this store is fully stacked. There's hardly any seasoning that you're looking for that you won't find. There's hardly any green or legume that you're looking for that they don't have. They also have these black-eyed beans. I know a lot of people eat these beans and like it. But then you see these particular beans. In fact, voice of us cannot be able to... I have to tell you what I said in the exact store. These beans... <laughs> you see these beans? I will forever and ever eat these beans. I will hate it with a serious passion. I have very nasty memories of these beans. It usually comes with cane because nobody likes it. Nobody likes to eat it. Nobody likes to smell it being cooked. We know that that day we're going to we're going to hate our tummy. This, these beans. My mom will remember these beans. Mommy, see these beans. I hate it. I still hate it. Anyway, you guys, moving on to the rest of the store. I mean, just check out the enormous varieties. There's a lot. There's chickpeas. There's lentils. Different kinds of lentils. There's couscous for the fit farm. There's long grain rice, basmati rice, jasmine rice, easy cook rice. There's different kinds of rice. There's hardly any grain that you're looking for. And then there's the African section, well, the Nigerian slash West African section. There's these brown beans for about 15 pounds and change. There's these peeled beans that is good for akara mamwe. It cuts your cooking time in half because it's already peeled. All you have to do is like soak it and just get it soft enough. They also have this cassava flour, which is like laughing, and it's very good. I've actually tasted it before, I, and I love it. They had mashed potatoes as a substitute for pando yam. They also had this plantain fufu that I'm sure would taste good as well. Um, they had different... You see this kukuyam fufu? I want to try it. I have to try it because I like I love kukuyam. And they had onga seasoning. They also had different kinds of bouillon seasoning. They had this banku mix, um, also cocoa and tom brown it just anyhow you like your pop or your cereal in the morning they also had the golden mon chin chin and different kind of chips there was a spicy one the ordinary one there was different kinds i just had to close my eye you see this section there they had pap mal cream you know for banga soup they also had pap they had different kind of things you guys it's fully stocked you see the last time i was here i found a bigger pack of this yam flour but they only had the one kg for this type, so business must be booming. Like people must really be patronizing this section, and that is starch for the banga. So there's a lot of things. You see this palm oil? I was looking very suspect because I don't know. I didn't trust the color, but yeah, this green ginger tea. I love ginger. I love anything ginger tea. They also had to do also, you guys, and tura. Hmm, that year, tura soup. 
they had fun but eh, they had different kinds of cream they had a boniki i mean any store that carries a boniki just knows legit <laughs> they also had rub and different kinds of indomie sachets don't mind that it's just in the sachets that you can find here they also have the boxes at the back just ask them and they'll give it to you this adobe season i want to try it they had custard and tomato paste see this butter mint eh? it's probably been 10 years since i tasted butter mint since i left nigeria i have to taste it so i got one of that this hunger seasoning i used to use hunger but i haven't used it in quite a while so i picked up a pack of that one as well because i wanted to try it and i was running low on my bullion seasoning so i picked that one and then this i don't know i've been seeing this tropical seasoning in some people's videos I don't know is it good if you guys have tried it out please let me know in the comment section because i really want to try it out i would prefer if i can get my bullion seasoning in powder uh, for all this strong strong seasoning that we don't know why they why it's, it's so hard moving on to the freezer section they had strong chicken they had soft chicken they had like um, turkey they had different kinds of meats there they had chicken lamb sheep goat meat also had a section um for honey powdered milk oats like the real quicker oats and things like that so the store is like really really stocked i mean just hold your pulse and have let your eye be single so that you don't spend all your salaries at this place they also, they also had some things that i could not identify like from other cultures and i'm sure that a lot of people patronize this place and you know that's probably why they have a wide range of things so um i picked up tomato paste and i like to go for this tin because it's just better value for my money and I, since i have a freezer i can just section it out and store it over time they also had this um freezer section that had different um seafood um there was catfish there were prawns there were small small fishes um you see, but you see this turkey it was just <laughs> the highlight of it all they had bokoto <clears throat> they had bokoto like i didn't even see this the last time i was here but they seem to have been they seem to be expanding their market now so there's there's bokoto and that's like cow leg bokoto is cow leg they also had shaki and isio like goat head ram head um for more there was pomo in that freezer as well and then this freezer was for like really huge fish like really really big fish they had catfish and they also had um titus also known as alaron they also had this section for kitchen wares and utensils see you see this basket it was filling up <coughs> faster than I, I i could contain but and i just had to leave the place and go and pee but then i realized that there was this section at the back that i hadn't showed you so as soon as i finished paying for my goods i I had to go to the back and show you all the things they have they have this section for drinks for different kinds of um yogurt and mayonnaise all these large tops are filled with mayonnaise cooking oil there's different greens flour rice there's a lot there's a lot of things here there are different kind of pickles and relish they also have this butchery section as well they had lots of things for like party party packs and things this freezer had some um tofu in it so it's just it's a lot of things they sell different kind of sauces in large quantities so if you have like a party coming up this is definitely one place you want to check it's dimly lit right now but it's a huge huge store they also have a cold room i'm going to show you the cold room it's this way so they've left instruction to please cl close the door behind you so in the cold room they have uh hello how many people have seen melee on netflix god hasn't given me the spirits of here but let me just say that i, I was just checking to see that that door will open again because anytime i come in here i always have someone on the outside you know just making sure that i can open the door but this time i don't know what happened to me anyway you guys <laughs> there are boxes of pepper there's yogurt there are different kinds of milk and cream so it's a really big place so if you're ever in the area stop by stop by yeah 
closed. I'm on my way home now, so I've paid for my things and I'm about to head back home. Bye. Bye. And I want to get to. Morning. Hello, morning. To get to Aldi and pick up spinach because I didn't really have the spinach I, I like here. So they didn't really have everything that I wanted to do. Um, but that's usually because they get the fresh stock every Monday. But today's being a Sunday, I could only find what I could find, really. So I wanted yams. I also wanted plantain. But they only had the green plantain and some people will not appreciate it. If I go back home, just green plantain. So I didn't even buy anything at There's all. There's a lot of eat trees in this Aldi complex. There's Subway, there's KFC, there's Greg's. There's a lot. But you know something I was telling my husband the other day? He's like, I don't even get excited when I pass by these stores. There's a McDonald's too, not too far from here. I don't even get excited when I pass, when I pass these places. And I don't know if it's because I hardly eat out. So it's like, I don't even know what I'm missing. And in bingo, not the way. Why would you bring a dog to the store? Like, how many minutes will you spend in the store? Like, yeah, that you have to bring the dog along. This country and their dogs, I will never understand. Anyway, you guys, I just wanted to pick up a few things. I wanted some avocados, some salt, spinach, like I said before, and a few other things. And then it was just time to just check out and go. By this time, I'm already tired. If you know me, I'm tired already. Shopping at Aldi is done. Please stick to the end for the haul. I will see you guys when I get home. <laughs> So to my right here i have the things i got at the african store and on my left i have the things i got from aldi so i got these avocados for one pound 45 pence each the eggs i'll leave the prices on the screen so you get to see the eggs are a good size so it's good value for money and you know i always get the ones at the back of the rack brown sugar for us because it's more healthy and i just like the taste better and this bag of spinach i have my greek yogurt here for my fit farm things i have this jug of um juice for my smoothies salt for seasoning garlic is a must have for me and this aniseed i use in my cooking as well this is something that i will encourage everyone to try to use once in a while it gives very good flavor lemon for my tea and we have onga here this is something i want to start using again i used to use it back in nigeria but I, now that i can find it here i want to continue using it then um my tomato paste butter mint the red pepper and my rodo as well as the tomatoes i just picked very small quantity just something to last us for a while before we go monthly shopping and also some red onions because i like the taste better and of course ginger so everything came down to about 33 pounds. So you guys, that is everything that I got. I'm not going to put everything away and start cooking because today is already fast spent. But can we just compliment this weather? Like today's weather is really good. Like I can't remember the last time I wore a short sleeve, even in the house. So you guys, what do you like to do in terms of shopping? Do you like to go weekly shopping? or monthly shopping i find that you know sometimes i like to interchange sometimes i prefer if i'm being honest i prefer to go monthly shopping because it gets all this wahala of having to you know think of what to do at the end of the week i like to just go shopping like once in a month but sometimes i'm unable to do it it rarely happens because i usually try to plan my time and get myself to just go shopping once and for all and it saves me having to go back and forth to the shops but anyway you know we we have to keep going back for things like bread and milk and things like that but i just like to do it monthly i don't know is it i don't think it makes much difference if i do it weekly or what i don't know you guys what do you think <laughs> i like to do my shopping once in a month because it just helps me get that stress of going to the store out of the way and i can plan my time better 
anyway that's me but let me know what you guys do in the comment section <laughs>small containers this actually belongs to my children i use i got it from my first born and i used it for my second born these are like a puree pot holders and they're silicon based so they go in the freezer and they're actually quite good they don't have all these harmful con um, components in them so you can heat them up so i like to put the small ones in the fridge and i put the big batch in the freezer and as soon as i'm running low on my condiments i just like to refill it from time to time as for the bottom it it did not even i thank god i didn't even have my hopes up i wasn't so disappointed when i put it in my mouth and these were already watered down i kind of had my suspicions already because it was looking small it was just looking one kind Anyway, you guys, that's our time here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye, guys.